Saldano tones are legendary and iconic, but it's forgivable if you're like, I've heard that, but I just, I don't know which is the Saldano tone. I, I've, what record do I listen to and stuff? So, doing a little tag team here, we've got the Saldano Astro 20. Boop, boop, boop. Look at this, 20 watts going straight out from the direct out. So we're using the built-in uh, cabinet IRs. Everything is built in. And I'm gonna run through some legendary tones that uh, we can get out of this. And I'm gonna show you the little extra little tidbits of effects and stuff that'll just be applying in the DAW afterwards. So I'll show you some before and afters and uh, we'll dig in and show you the sweet array of tones that I'm able to get out of the Astro. 20. Let's kick things off with the man, the myth, the legend that really made Saldano a household name, uh, that for unlawful carnal knowledge, that's a mouthful, um, SLO, Saldano tones all over that. So of course I went to the Red Galaxy on the Astro 20, and really to get that era Van Halen tones you have to add a micro pitch from Eventide, uh, this is my favorite one. And I know they recorded that album at Ed's studio, but throwing in a little Sunset Sound chamber in there, uh, which is a really great sounding chamber plugin. And just a hair of EQ to put back what the Eventide is sort of taken out, to be quite honest. And that uh, sounds like this. Micro pitch splits your signal, shoots one side of it up nine cents in pitch and the other down nine cents in pitch, which leaves a big gap in the middle. But when you were going for stereo and this mega stereo and everyone was obsessed with chorus, it's a huge big sound. If you tuck it in, it's still really nice. Uh, there was times where it was pretty over the top. If I take everything off and just go Astro 20 straight with its internal cab IR, Sounds like this. This tone is from my personal goat, uh, the greatest of all time, Steve Lukather, who uh, also put, you know, maybe Saldano on the map. Hard to say, you know, it was so good, it was gonna get out, but uh, you know, LA, scene and um, major studio player everyone was like what's Luke using and uh, and it sounds amazing I want that and uh, I think that's when the, t the brand took off uh, you know in the mid 80s so uh, Lukather uh, used lots of stuff he used I believe a SLO for the lead tones on the seventh one album and um, it, it's just like they're so fat and so fat uh, but also, Lukather is known for these clean tones. I think he, he maybe used something else. You know, he's a studio guy. He can use whatever he wants. But the Astro 20 does a great job of giving you those LA studio clean sounds, like in uh, Pamela. <laughs> that sound I'm using some chorus some micro pitch and a little compression oh here it is with the effects turned off squeaky clean almost direct but not quite you know one trick is if you want to go direct you could just turn off turn off the cab IR 
boom, and now it's off, and it's super direct. <laughs> Uh, I would probably switch up what I'm doing there because it gets real, you know, thin, but it's great for those like. It's almost like a direct acoustic sound. It's a nice little studio bonus and that can be programmed into the foot switch, so. This tone is from George Lynch's first Lynch Mob album. That first album just screams Saldano tone. I believe it was the SLO and maybe a Marshall blended, but that Saldano tone just rings through. It is so Saldano-y, that big, broad, full mid-range, the warm top end that isn't too like glassy and brighty. It's just like trimmed just enough so it's fat, but it cuts through. There's, there's such great playing, such great production and great songs on that album. River of Love is one of my favorite. I'm using the purple channel, which, uh, you know, you could easily use the red galaxy, but I went to the purple because it sort of gives you a little more of that martial character on the top too, where you get that brighter top end, uh, it, in my idea of blending those two amps, but you could easily just do the red galaxy as well, and it's, uh, it's gonna give you that too. <laughs> I've got just a little bit of chorus on there. I'm using a TC1210 emulation plugin that can be subtle and it's not too swirly. And just a little bit of room sound tucked in there too. If I turn those off, it sounds like this. <laughs> Stone is out of the handbook of Clapton's Journeyman album, uh, but also could be out of the John Mayer Sob Rock album too, since they sound identical. So uh, he used uh, Clapton, Saldano SLO 100. It's a great tone. It's the lower gain side of the, the SLO, the Saldano sound. I'm using the blue channel, which is just mm, mwah, one of my favorites there. I have the gain up pretty high, but because of how that color galaxy is structured, it's just this fat, clear, it's the, the dirty side of clean, really. Uh, this sound utilizes a slow moving Leslie used as like a chorus sound. I'm just using the Logic stock Logic Leslie, but I'm throwing a TC chorus pedal plugin after it to get a little more swirl out of it. I was feeling like the the Leslie was a little dry and uh, yeah, a little dry. And then a, a big, big room uh, to simulate a big room. Yeah, middle pickup, because uh, it's Clapton, right? <laughs> Turn off those effects just to, so you could hear what's happening under there. It sounds like this.
Three quarters gain instead of full up on that. Oh, in the cab, I'm using the Legend cab, which, uh, different legend in this case, Mike Saldano had built a SLO for Stevie Ray Vaughan, and, um, you know, it, the legend? Hmm. Huh. So much goodness out of the Astro 20 super killer uh, 6v6 power tubes. Uh, it's all tube, front end, and, and amplifier goes into the cab as well. But it's so easy to record when you just go boop out of the direct cab out, and they sound really good. Uh, I had the great pleasure of creating the IRs for this amp head, and uh, we pulled in some really cool cabinets to do that. So. Uh, they're all in here and it's great and if you have IRs you love also super great they're so easy to just drop in and use as well so anyway check out this head you know where to get it just click on some links and stuff but uh, you know get out there go play some guitar see you